Hey y'all, Taylor Lauren here. Welcome back to the channel. Here on my channel, I talk about my life as a beauty queen, as a wife, and as a mama. So if that content interests you, then just keep on watching. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you um, how to wear your baby in your wrap. Um, I have a tuck and bundle wrap. Um, I love this wrap because as you can see, it's a lot of fabric. It's very breathable all year round and I love that they have their label right in the center of the fabric so that you can keep everything even. Um, we got this um, as a gift on our baby registry. I do think they retail um, about like seventy to eighty dollars or so now that i have the wrap i do think that it is very well worth it so if you're new to baby wrapping and if you're not sure um if you want to take the risk on that cost i'm telling you to do so i love my wrap i've definitely worn it um at least a hundred times now started wearing blair um when she was a week old she's now um, approaching 10 months and we still wear her now if that is still too much for you um, as far as the cost y'all you can just go to your local fabric store um, like Joann's you can just find a nice stretchy jersey fabric um, cut um, I don't even know how long this is um, I don't even know um, but you can cut like just a good amount, have them serge it or stitch the ends so they don't um, unravel or you could do it yourself if you know how to sew. Um, and that can be like your homemade baby wearing wrap. Um, so I'm going to show you how to uh, wrap it and wear your baby forward facing and outward facing. Um, so if you want to see how I do that, then just keep on watching. Um, and this wrap style is pretty standard no matter what kind of wrap you have. Um, this is like a do-it-yourself, tie your knots wrap. They do have some that are more just like um, uh, wearing friendly where they have like just harnesses and hooks and things like that. But I enjoy wearing um, like in an old school way i also used to wear like hair ties a lot so i just think it's fun and unique to do it yourself and to kind of find different ways that you can wear your baby but the way that i'm going to show you um it's pretty universal and it's um a way that you can wear your baby forward facing you and outward facing as they get older um blair still likes to do both um so yeah so let's go ahead and get into it y'all so with your fabric the way you want to wear it that I'm going to show you, you want to make sure that it's even. So let me actually back y'all up a little bit. So you want to make sure that it is even. If your fabric isn't even when you're tying it, it's going to be wonky when you try to wear your baby. What I love about Tuck and Bundle is they have their label right in the center. So you know that that is the center of your fabric. So once you have your middle, or if you're using a tuck and bundle wrap, you know where your middle is. I like to take it right across my belly button, depending on how tall you are, how thick you are, this will vary. But for someone like petite like me, taking it right on the center of my belly button um, is helpful. So once you have it, you're going to take it around you. You're going to crisscross the fabric. All right, so now we have a crisscross behind us. Now, this is where some people mess up because they don't cross it over. They just take it straight. So now that we're here, you're going to take it over your shoulders so that you have an X in the back, like so. And you want to hold it taut. Um, you can, like, adjust your clothes as you do this. Um, I'm wearing a pretty loose lounging set right now. So if you need to adjust, feel free to do so. So now still holding taut, you're going to take the rest of your fabric and gather it up. This line across our belly button, going to extend it, drop the fabric through. Right, still holding everything taut, adjust if you need to. All right, so now we have an X in the back and then straight lines across the front. With these straight lines across the front, you're gonna make an X again. It doesn't really matter if you go over or under, it's not gonna mess with your X in the back. So whichever way you wanna take it, go ahead and do that. 
adjust I just this just feels comfortable right on my belly button for me so we're adjusting it now we have our two loose ends again we're gonna crisscross it behind us again bring it back around to the front and you're gonna tie it um, and a, you can double knot it, single knot it, single knot bow tie, however you want to tie it. Um, you can do this on your left side or your right side, whatever is more comfortable for you. I usually just do it on my um, left side, right below my hip bone. I kind of do it there because sometimes Blair, her knee knocks right here. So, untie it and you can bring, you can tie it as long as you need to. And this is what you should be looking like without baby. Now, I'm gonna go get my baby. <laughs> Before we do, what you're gonna do is just loosen yourself up right here. This X, this is where your baby's gonna go in. So you just wanna loosen this up a little bit for them and then to make it easier on your shoulders and as you wear your baby more, you'll know if you like your flaps open or closed, or if you like your fabric open or closed. I typically like mine open, so I'm just going to take it and open it up a little bit. This also provides you with a little bit of warmth if you're wearing your baby um, when the weather's cooler out. So this is what we look like, okay? So now we're going to go get our baby. <laughs> okay, so we have Blair. You can also, y'all, if you're expecting and you want to, if you're trying to get a head start on baby wearing, you can also practice with um, a baby doll, a stuffed teddy bear, anything like that. So this is Blair. This is my almost 10 month old. We just got our hair washed. So now that you have your baby, what you're going to do is insert legs first. Um, you're going to insert first on the side or into the sleeve. <laughs> what are you doing? Into the sleeve that is underneath are you gonna be okay if i set you there <laughs> no okay so as you can see this this uh side is on top of this side you're going to insert your baby um into the under side so if you do this side first you're gonna have to start over so you're gonna insert them on the side that's underneath so I think she's ready to get in so I lift her up just a little over my shoulder and this leg is gonna go in this fabric underneath right and I'm gonna pull her she has her fingers in my mouth <laughs> and I'm gonna pull this fabric are you having fun thank you I'm gonna pull this fabric all the way across her butt cheek okay so you may have to do some adjusting Okay, so, and then I'm just going to shimmy her in and pull her arm out this way. So, now she's halfway in. And you want to make sure that this is cheek to cheek because otherwise it's going to feel like a wedgie to them. So, now that we have that side, I'm going to adjust her leg. Just moving her over. And y'all, babies are very flexible. This does not hurt them. Now I'm going to take the other side, and this side is on top now. This is the fabric side that's on top. I'm going to place her arm inside, pull the fabric cheek to cheek, and kind of shimmy her inside. And as you can see, she's already chewing on it. So that's where we are now. At this point, I will lift the fabric up a little bit just so her arms can be free. So... As your baby gets bigger, if this feels secure to you, you can stop here. But just for safety purposes and just how Tuck and Bundle demonstrates that you wear their wrap, we're going to go underneath, okay? So under your baby's butt, you still have the final line across you that you tied with. And then we have the first line that we made with the Tuck and Bundle label. So what we're going to do is adjust a little bit and bounce. And loosen up so that we have a hold of this first line that we made across our waist. What we're going to do, slide the knee over. And then we're going to take the other knee. Uh-oh. There we go. I 
I tied her really tight. And now I'm going to take the label and pull it up and just pull it down under her booty. And we're going to pull it and loosen it in the back of us just for support and comfort. And release those arms so she's comfy. And there we go. And once you've done this step, you're done. What we like to do is just wiggle and bounce a little bit and adjust just to loosen our wrap to us and make it comfy. And we're done. Yeah, mama. And sometimes she, now that she's older, she's almost 10 months. Yeah. Sometimes she will like untuck herself. Like she really likes to stick one arm out. That's fine because she still has this final layer of security here. And that's that. And so now I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys how to take her out and then how to wear front facing. So to take out, I just pull this down under her butt. We're going to lean forward a little bit. Let her arms get free, like so, and just pull up. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you're a little loose, if you've been wearing them for a while, and if you want to retie, you can. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to do front facing because I think she's getting a little irritated. So, same thing, just turn your baby forward. Now, we're gonna go with the one underneath. Pull through. Yeah. And put that arm through as well. Still wanna make sure you do kind of cheek to cheek. It's a little hard when they're front facing. Got that second leg in there. And do the arm. And if you guys um, need to do it in a mirror the first couple times or if like you need help, that's totally fine. Okay, so now she's in front ways. <laughs> okay. And we are gonna do that extra layer of security. Got the label right there. Oh wait, there we go. I'm just holding her up. I'm gonna do a little bounce to loosen up. I know. There we go. All right. And now we are forward facing. As your baby gets older, this way might be a little more entertaining for them. Our window's right here. She loves looking out the window. You can just see a little more. Is it nap time? And there we are. So y'all, I hope yeah. you enjoyed this video. You'll take them out the same way forward facing and loosen up I'm actually instead of holding her over I'm actually gonna do one arm at a time all right and there we are pull up and up yeah yeah and there we go y'all so I hope you enjoyed this video of baby wearing featuring the tuck and bundle wrap. Thank y'all for watching. I hope it was informative and kind of like step by step for you. Uh, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on IG and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. You say bye, mama. Say bye. bye.